Hi everyone, it's TJ a little sorry for the room chat right now. I have two crafts that I just did just now in my writer's book. Um, <laughs> writer's book doesn't matter. I'm going to be a writer when I get older for FYI's. Um, I made two things. I made, um, a little tiny pillow for a hamster. I don't have a hamster personally, but one of my staff's daughter has a hamster and he's the cutest thing ever. I've only met him once. He's really super cute and fluffy and soft. And I had the stuff. I didn't have stuffing. I have stuffing. I just didn't use the stuffing. I used some fluff from this project. It's a notebook. Literally. It's a notebook. And I decorated the cover. Hold on. And my pages got bent. Oopsies. Um, so this notebook, I got an idea. Um, I don't remember who it was by. I'll find it and link it in the description. Not link it, but I'll write it in the description. Um, you can also do this to a backpack, um, which is one of the, which is kind of where I got the monster idea from. You got little twofers and a unibrow and some eyeballs and some feet and some hands. He's the cutest little thing ever. Um, so the extra fluff from my notebook went to the hamster bed. Um, to make the monster notebook, um, you take your yarn and you wrap it around a thin piece of cardboard or for a backpack and do a little bit thicker. I actually made it kind of thick. Um, and basically you're just going to layer it one by one. Not like one by one. You want it, like, it depends on how long you have, but you can leave spaces. Look, I left some space at the end. There's still original notebook in there. Um, but you just layer it how thick you want it. I probably should have went thinner if I wanted to. And I just screwed him up. Nice. I'll have to redo them. Um, but, and then I just added two googly eyes, um, some teeth I cut from the cardboard that I used to wrap around it, and to glue them on, you just, you don't cut it off yet. Um, you have to glue one end of the cardboard, so pretend that this pillow is your cardboard, and the string is wrapped, you just, you do this whole line of yarn. Make sure they're close together so you don't glue the cardboard on. Um, you just glue it all, and you stick it on. And you hold it there for about a few minutes and let go. And if it doesn't come off or move, then you're good to go. And you can cut um, the side on the other end of the cardboard that you did not glue. And then you'll get like, this fun shaggy stuff. Um, you can do a monster. You can do flowers. I'm pretty sure you could do a puppy if you really wanted to. I think for a puppy, you'd want some like felt, like just like felt sheets, um, like cheap little felt sheets, I don't know how to explain them any better than that, they're like a little sheet of fabric that you can buy for like 49 cents at Walmart or whatever and make little puppy dog ears and tape them and glue them underneath like I glued the arms underneath and glue the ear underneath and you can make them have like little tiny ears or little pointy ears, however you want it to do if you're going to do pointy ears on the top glue the ears down first before the shag and I'm just kind of creating this as I go, I don't know if it'll work let me know if you try it and how it went and then for my hamster pillow that's really close hold on um, what I did was I glued three sides and um, with hot glue gun or you could sew them if you are allowed to sew um, some people can't I can if I wanted to I just am horrible at it so I did it the fast way and I glued it um, glue is somewhat safe for hamsters I think it'll be okay I don't think there's any, re I mean, as long as they don't eat it, eat it. But usually they'll, and it probably will last maybe a month. Um, if he doesn't chew on it or if he actually uses it to snuggle into or hide underneath, whatever he wants. Um, you can easily wash these by hand, not in the washer. But if you sew it, you can definitely do it in the washer. And then the other end that I left open, I stuffed it. And I kind of crappily did this, but you're supposed to... So you are actually supposed to fold it in and sew it, but as I said, I'm horrible at sewing. So I tried to glue it, and I pretty much burnt my finger. Not bad. I still have a finger. But it hurts, kind of. Um, yeah, I had some stuffing sticking out, but that's okay. Um, and if the hamster does decide to open it up, chew through it, and get the yarn, he can easily use the yarn for nesting material, which hamsters love nesting material. And sometimes... I've heard of owners who will purposely 
make nesting material inside things like this so they can forage for nesting materials. It's actually kind of cool. But if you didn't have any stuffing or yarn bits like I had for this when I trimmed it, after I layer after I layered it, um, you can easily just make it like a different type of fabric. I wouldn't recommend anything too terribly fluffy. I mean, this is really fluffy, but that's okay because it's the same nesting material they use. But like, really fluffy material on the outside, um, because it could. Um, pose a hazard possibly I'm not sure um you can just make it like a sleeping bag and just leave the top of it open and they can go hide inside of it like a little sock I know ferrets really like socks I used to have one um growing up and she liked socks she liked to hide in socks it was hilarious um you know it was always my dad's socks because he had the large socks and they had the ankle socks so obviously he wouldn't want to burrow in mine um yeah, it's really, these are super fun and easy to make. Um, you don't have to have a unibrow or eyebrows if you don't want. The backpack idea did not. It just had googly eyes and teeth, no arms or legs. I added those because I thought it was cute. Kind of like a little baby monster. He's like, oh, play with me. Um, the hamster bed, I mean, I didn't necessarily have to make a hamster bed. But I had some extra materials, and I always keep my fabric at the end of crafts for things like this or, you know, whatever I really feel like. I had a hamster named Hamtaro. Um, I actually had a bunch of leftovers like this, and I made a cape for him out of it, and he actually really liked it. Um, but yeah, I always keep my scraps. You never know what you're going to use them for. You know, sometimes you can save them, and if, you're, if you have glasses or... Your screen is dirty, you can you you can use it to help clean your screen and stuff. Just make sure it's not dusty, keep it in a dust free area. And it works really well for cleaning glasses when you take it out and screens. Um you can use it dry on a TV screen. I actually just did that to my new TV over there. I used to have a box TV and now I finally upgraded to a flat screen. But I still have a VHS and DVD player. Because most of my movies are VHS. <laughs> It's kind of funny. I'm very old school, and I really wanted a typewriter, but I couldn't get a typewriter. They don't really have products for them anymore, and they're really, really nice. I love them. My dad's got my grandma's old one in his basement, but it's so old, I don't even know if it works anymore, and it's part of a table. It's actually, like, secured onto the table, like a desk like that, and it's actually kind of cool. Sorry, my desk is a mess. Holy crap. Um... Yeah, and I have a bunch of clothes. <laughs> but, yeah, these are my crafts. Wee! Here's my baby monster. Bye-bye. See you later.